Usually in my videos, I'd do a very long-winded introduction and try and build up suspense and excitement for what you're about to see. Um, today, today we've got the new Ping i59s. And let's do it now. Right, a lot of people have been waiting a long time to see these. And I've got to say, when I first set eyes on them, it's fair to say that they didn't disappoint. So hopefully it'll be the same playing golf with them. That looks so good. Hmm. Yes, please. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and if you are not new to the channel, welcome back. If you are new to the channel guys, welcome. Make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. Today we are playing golf with the brand new i59 irons from Ping. And when I first saw the Ping i59s I thought, they don't look anything like the S55s or F56s or S57s or S... You get the drift and that's because they're not. I mean, mid handicap golfers everywhere and low handicap golfers everywhere and pretty much any golfer anywhere will probably look at these and say yeah so in today's video we're going to put them to the test and we're going to test them for forgiveness test them for workability but also just test them to see how they feel because apparently let's just in fact let's uh i'll be good then stay there oh yes please Yes, please. I might even clean this now. Where's my towel? There. Oh, well deserved. For me, looking at the list of players that do use these clubs, including Victor Hovland, Hunter Mahan, Eddie Pepperall, Corey Connors, and quite a few other well-known players. Now, that says to me that that gives the confidence to the low handicap player that he can use the I-59s. But also looking at them, it gives the mid handicap goal for the confidence that they could use the i59s right what can we make here it's a birdie oh not a birdie james you called it far too soon that's a par on the first maybe it's time we talked a little bit of tech yeah you see the i59 is a three-piece construction iron and then, to be honest <laughs> The stylings almost come a little bit out of nowhere. Now we've got that brushed satin finish. That's the Hydra Pearl 2.0, which is designed to take away moisture from the finish and stop flyers from the rough. But the i59 irons also feature bounce, blade length and offset, just like the eye blade. So we're starting to get into more of that player's refined look. We have a 0.03 inch thinner sole on average. And like we said, the Hydra Pearl 2.0 finish. The irons feature a forged laser cut 17-4 stainless steel face, an Illumi core insert, a forged 1025 carbon steel body, and also feature a machined face, grooves, hosel, and toe geometry. Now, as you can imagine, all this tech does come at a price. £239 per iron is our RP price, so a full set of four to pitching wedge could come in at just shy of £1,700. For me, this might even put off the most avid of Ping fan, which is a bit of a shame. So there you go. Now, whilst all that is good and well, I know a lot of people equally won't really care too much about that. They want to know how good do these feel? How well do they perform? And should they be going into your bag for the end of the 2021 season, moving into the 2022 season? And I mean, it's really hard to say no at this point after only playing a few holes. The four iron looks exactly like the eye blade. I say used to look, does look. And that felt phenomenal. It's actually got more of a hard clickier feel off it than you would expect from a forged iron, but it is a ping iron after all. So they've never been the softest, have they? You see now for me, it almost makes me wonder where these irons should sit in the new ping range of irons because they look that good, they look that small. I think a lot of golfers will want to use these, will aspire to use these. And let's face it, it will have these in the bag at some point. They might go mixed set. The video yesterday that I did with Tom, who's a plus two handicap, he has 
blueprint short irons, eye blade long irons. I certainly feel like these are more of a more of an all-rounded set to use than the blueprint. But then there's not many people on the planet that should really be using the blueprint irons. Right, so we've just clung onto the fairway there with that four iron, and we have in um, quite. Uh, Quite a demanding shot, to be fair. So what I'm hoping for here is a ball flight that starts just at the left-hand side of the green and fades over towards that back flag. I'm going to place them down gently because I don't want to mark them up with them being forged. And we have 176 yards, which for me should be a perfect six iron, actually. We're even into a little bit of breeze. I've lost my glove then, we don't want that, do we? Interestingly, the MOI on these clubs is the same or similar to that as the I-210s. So that really tells you what Ping have tried to do here with the levels of forgiveness. Sitting down at the ball, they do look like some of the best irons I've seen in a very long time. Go a little, that was very bottomy. Ah, I've caught the bunker. We have caught the bunker. Not ideal. So quite interesting that I should touch on forgiveness and MOI there and then strike that six iron so poorly out the bottom of the club. I feel like if there was an I-210 down at the ball there, I would have got a bit more forgiveness to it. But then you look at the blade length and the head size of the I-210 compared to the new I-59 and it's, it's different, it's very different. So quite unlucky to be fair, it pitched just in the edge of the bunker and came back down. And that's certainly why I don't normally hit four iron off this hole because six iron into here isn't quite the dream. I also have today the new Ping Glide, if I can get this off, Ping Glide Forged Wedge, which we'll be doing a full review on probably today actually, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And how good does that look at the ball? Go. That was delightful, actually. Wasn't even that excited about testing the wedge and then, uh, yeah, really enjoyed that one. Right, nothing to do with the irons, so we'll quickly try and save a par on here. Oh, he stayed there. Bogey. Yeah. So guys, do me a favour and get in the comments below. Could you see yourself gaming these new Ping I-59 irons? And if not, why not? Right guys, couple more holes left to play. And whilst we're being held up a little bit, I want to talk to you briefly a little bit more about these new Ping I-59 irons. I meant to zoom in there. How good do they look? I love that brushed finish on them, but also down at the ball, you don't want to be zooming on me, but also down at the ball, they look so flush, and to be honest, they almost look like everything I would want from an iron. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're not too clunky, but then they're not too slim. They're, they're just right. I thought that was fading back. Can we just take a second to talk about this divot as well? Because turf interaction is something that has been quite wonderful on the long irons. Right, so I quite enjoyed that one. Again, just cut back into the fairway, I think, maybe into the semi-rough. But I mentioned earlier, guys, about the Alumicore technology. Now, the Alumicore technology is an aerospace-grade aluminium insert, which is a third of the density of stainless steel, saving about 30 grams. That allows Ping to fuse tungsten inserts in both the toe and the heel to, as we said, give it the same MOI levels as the I-210, which is quite remarkable to say that it's all combined in that little compact head. The biggest compliment I can give this iron is that I'm not too sure who it's really aimed at. I'm not sure if it's aimed at the low handicap, I'm not sure if it's aimed at the mid handicap, certainly not a high handicap golf club, but it could. I could see someone like Spriggsy using this no problem at all. Foxy maybe not so much, but, and me, I could use it. Be good. Finally. 
We've got one. We've got one. And having said that, you might be thinking, but James, if we don't know who it's really designed for, then surely that's not something to be praised for. That's something to say, well, who's going to use it? But I thought the same thing about the P790 when that first came out. I'm aware this is a smaller head than the P790, a shorter blade length. It's not as forgiving, but still. Still. And in fairness to it, that's an A time from around 150 out the rough. I did not expect that to stop so quickly. That's a par. Right, one hole left. Let's see if we can get it back to level for the test. And I think, if I'm thinking about this logically, what the i59 is to me is all the best bits of the i500 and the iBlade kind of morphed into one. That's what I make it anyway. Obviously with some aerospace graded aluminium in there as well, just for good measure. And on that note, for me, it almost leaves a bit of a question as well, because where is it exactly in the lineup? Where does it sit? What has it really, where's my golf ball? here. What has it really replaced? Because it's, if it's the replacement for the i500, it's probably a little bit small looking, but if it's the replacement for the iBlade, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong, they are quite good looking. They're quite attractive, they are. Right, this hole's downwind. Let's see if we can really kind of pump on this four eye and get it high and turn it over. Get some distance out of it. The hole's about three, seven, four. So all of this and then hopefully a, a six or an eight. Yeah. That is perfect. Oh, maybe a wedge after that, actually. How do you want to strike your four iron off the tee, James? About like that, I think. Yes, please. So one last bit of tech to touch on as we walk down this final hole. And I must say, I haven't tested these for numbers yet, primarily because when I do that, I like to compare them against the previous model. I'm just not sure in my head what to really test them against. I'm not sure to test it against the i500, against the iBlade, against a bit of a mishmash of both and see where it sits precisely for both those clubs. So far in this review, we've spoken about the forge design, we've spoken about the three-piece construction, and we've spoken about the new stunning looks. So one thing we haven't spoken about though, and it's actually something which Ping are giving you more of, they're giving you more for your money. Four more, four more grooves. The new fully machined face has micro max grooves. How's that for a four iron off the tee, by the way, on the 18th hole? Sorry to interrupt there, but I just had to get that in. So the fully machined face has new micro max grooves, which have steeper sidewalls and tighter spacing to allow for those four extra grooves. That's designed to eliminate flyers with the shorter irons and preserve spin with the longer irons. 132 we've got in here. That's a pitching wedge in anyone's money. Pitching wedge, I don't think we've hit pitching wedge yet, actually. I'm a big fan of the white line in the bottom groove as well. It makes that leading edge look a little bit sharper and a little bit straighter. Be the club. Get right. Oh, it's a tiny bit short. And that's come razzing back as well. That's, uh, yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed that one. <laughs> That was wonderful. Now I've got to say that I don't think Ping fans are going to be disappointed with these irons. Yes, the fours, yes, they feel a little bit soft, but they don't feel Mizuno soft. They certainly don't feel like butter. They've got a nice click to them. And I think that's important that Ping have remembered what their iron players like to feel. They don't always like the softest feeling iron possible, because that's certainly not what this is, although it is acceptable for me to use as a forged iron. So again, it's kind of best of both worlds with that feel element as well. Probably got around 30 feet here for birdie to try and shoot level. Not ideal, but we'll have a go. So one big jump forward there and then all the way back. And really it just needed to be more, didn't it? Right, not really what the video is about, but no. 
not even close. Guys, that is my review of new Ping i 59 If you've enjoyed that, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, leave us a like. If you have enjoyed that video, let us know what do you think of the new Ping i 59 irons. And apart from that, guys, I'll very much look forward to seeing you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye!